Welcome to all of my comic book sales analysts. Dante D here and welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different and that's gonna be at any time during the video, at four specific points during this video, I'm going to be just saying some random quote. And if you know all four random quotes and can correctly list them at the bottom, well, then you're going to get a very special shout out in the next video. So pay attention for those quotes and you will get that special shout out. So stay tuned until the end of the video so you can pick out and write down all those quotes. Also, if you're looking for a shout out in the next video, subscribe to this channel and let me know in the comments that you subscribe to the channel and I'll be sure to give you a shout out in the next video. If you're already subscribed, that's no problem. You guys are my tried and true subscribers. You guys deserve some recognition too. If you're looking for a shout out, just like and share this video and let me know that you did so in the comments and you will also get a shout out as well. Many of you have probably noticed, it's actually very obvious that comic book sales are not what they used to be. Probably this is the worst time for comic book sales in history. Sales for graphic novels were posted uh, in April and May, and I looked at the sales and the top 20 best-selling graphic novels in North America are actually manga. There is not one Western comic that appears on that list. And people are probably wondering to themselves, you know, what the heck's going on? Why is manga essentially kicking Western comics' butt? Like they are killing Western comics. and I actually really kind of congratulate the Japanese and the manga industry because they use a lot of techniques to increase sales that I think would be really beneficial to the North American comic industry. Now, I know that the type of customer that is reading comics and manga in Japan is a little bit different than in North America. You know, Japan's a big commuter society, so a lot more people are buying manga, you know, when they're sitting and reading them on the train, so on and so forth. But nevertheless, I think with these few tips, the comic book industry probably could increase their sales by quite a bit. So tip number one, change the paper that you are using. I've said this many times on this channel before. In the past, comic books were just printed on cheap newsprint. Newsprint is cheaper. I used to think old Obi-Wan is what God looks like, hands down. So I do not know why the comic book industry insists on printing their comic books on high quality, glossy paper. Now I know they've said in the past that it, the cost isn't really that much difference, but you cannot tell me that that paper costs around the same as new pr newsprint. It, it's impossible. Shout out to Alterna Comics. Alterna Comics does use newsprint and I congratulate them for that because comic books at, at their roots are essentially pulp. And that means they should always be printed on cheap paper, that meaning newsprint. Tip number two, stop coloring the comic books. Now we all love to see our comic books in color. They're beautiful, the art is beautiful and it, it really has quite a bit of an appeal but there are a large chunk of readers out there who like reading comic books for the stories. And you could shave off a lot of costs by not coloring the comic books. Marvel did this actually not too long ago uh, when they released an edition uh, of their uh, trade paperbacks called Marvel Essentials. So you're getting a lot of story of classic comics but they were not colored. And that way they were actually able to offer these trades at a cheaper price. So I really don't know why comic book companies. So why are you going to the airport? Flying somewhere. These insist on pushing color, 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 color. And then they have to charge five to six dollars for one 32 page Batman book. It's just, it's, it's just ludicrous. Something really, really has to change with the direct market. I've talked about this on the channel before too. The direct market I feel has really kind of killed comic book sales for a while. It was actually helping comic book sales in the eighties and nineties, but things have not been the same industries and consumers and things are constantly changing. What worked, 
30, 40 years ago is not necessarily going to work today. So yeah, the direct market probably worked at one time, but it definitely is not working today. But I, there's many of you out there, I'm sure, that can remember the time when comic books could be pretty much pur purchased anywhere, grocery stores, corner stores, wherever. But now the, the only place you could essentially buy them is in a comic book store. You need to make the product more accessible in order for people to buy it, period. Next, this is something that I really think comic books have not really done. And if they have done it, I'd really like to hear from you in the comments, but they really should start publishing their stories in anthologies like they do in Japan. I am inevitable. So instead of just Batman or Aquaman or Spider-Man, Avengers, whatever, stick them all together in one big giant phone book style comic book that's black and white and printed on the cheapest paper quality and sell it that way. That way people can get multiple stories. And, you know, for example, say I don't read Avengers, because I have that now, I'm going to take a peek at the Avengers story for the month, and then maybe I'll actually end up liking it, and when the trade comes out, who knows, maybe I will buy it. I just think the phone book style approach to selling comic books is really, really would work. They're doing it in Japan, it's worked for years in Japan. I think they really need to bring that here. I can tell you, I would have no problem sp spending eight to ten dollars for phone book colorless no North American comics. Can all the individual titles call it Marvel Marvel Comics Weekly? Call it DC Comics Week Weekly? And I think this is especially important for a company like DC, where the only character that essentially sells books there is Batman. Without Batman, DC Comics would tank. So if you want to get these people maybe experimenting with some other heroes in the DC universe, print all your comic books in DC Comics Weekly and give the fans another way to enjoy maybe a different hero or get hooked on a different hero without having to risk or sacrifice a lot of money. Money's tight nowadays. Why would people want to risk people are wanting to take less and less risks with their money when it comes to comic books nowadays so that about does it for a video today really really hope you enjoyed it i'd really love to hear from you all in the comments what are some things that you think the comic book industry could do to increase their sales i love interacting with you please let me know in the comments and as always this is dante d signing off i will see you all in the next episode Two mice fall into a bucket of cream.